Hello everybody, welcome back to another Train Sim World 4 video. Uh, we're back on the five circle line, so big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us early access to show it off. Um, can we just appreciate how good the 170 looks? I mean, just look at the 170. I mean, maybe slightly ignore the PIS on it, but it does look really, really nice, the 170. Um, yeah, I mean, good to rivet. It, it looks good. Um, right, let's um, get this all set. We're doing a slightly Aberdour, Dalgetty Bay, Spaghetti Bay. Yeah, uh, get the doors open. Uh, but we're heading into Edinburgh. Uh, we're starting at Kirkcaldy. Um, um, Oh, yeah, I think we're all stops as well. Mm, yeah, we're yeah we're every stop in Red and Waverley. Yeah. Do that in about 50 minutes. Slightly shorter service this one. I think it's one of the I think it is the first one of the day as well. Um, so I don't know where this train actually comes from. If it's like an ECS or something, because there are no ECS services. Um, let's get the door shut. Uh, it'll be Kinghorn next. Right, let's go. Don't start rolling backwards. No, we're fine. Here we go. Hopefully the audio is okay. But I thought we'd do just a really nice early morning sort of springtime service. Uh, really sort of get those nice colours out of TSW. Uh, do a little brake test. Yeah, those brakes are working. And speed up. So up to 75. Uh, Kinghorn isn't too far away. And uh, we are doing it huddless. I don't, I must admit, I don't know the speed limits on the route yet. Okay? I don't know the speed limits yet. I know, I'm starting to learn where the stations are. I know all the station names, but where they are on some of the speed limits is a bit, hmm. I mean, the average speed, that's, the speed limit seems to be about 65. Um, and I sort of know, I think for Kinghorn it comes down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure coming into Kinghorn it comes down as well. So, is it 55? It, it definitely slows down. No. No, it might be more than that. It might be. Yeah, but I know it slows down coming into Kinghorn. And it's sort of the, the announcement sort of giveaway when you're approaching it as well. I think it was at Raff Rovers, Rafe Rovers. Up the Rafe Rovers. Cool. Seventy-five. So we'll see the sun coming up over the North Sea. So we should, uh, yeah, we come out sort of onto the. Uh, Sort of the cliffs soon. As we fly along in the 170, let's get a little fly by shot. Cheeky fly by shot. Well, we've got everybody up there. Right, I'm gonna coast it. Let's coast that. Just looking out for it comes down. It certainly comes down before Kinghorn, so we've sort of just got to be careful. Now this video was actually meant to be a guarding video, and I was really looking forward to doing a guarding video on here. It was all going really well, you know, I closed the doors and stuff. Uh, well, I closed the, uh, the other doors, but then when I was trying to close my guard door, my local door, the train started moving. <laughs> so I was thinking, how, how can the train start moving when... Uh, when we haven't got interlock, which was a bit concerning. Let's get a, uh, a little shot here. Oh yeah, certainly. Might be a little bit dark though, mightn't it? I'll get a little screenshot anyway. Why not? We'll get another one as well once that's out of the way. Yeah, there we go, come on. There we go. So not too far along to Kinghorn. 
So it's quite a cool station, actually. In fact, it is a cool station. There's the giveaway that we're coming up to it. And we've got a warning there for a 30 miles per hour limit. Arrive at Kinghorn. Kinghorn. Don't forget to take your belongings with you when you leave, leave the train. train. There we go. And again, I do apologise for the pronunciations of these Scottish places. Um, I know certainly on the TikTok people were not impressed with the uh, pronunciations. So I apologise. We are learning slowly. Kokodi. I mean, I think we got that one, haven't we? Kokodi. I mean, Kinghorn and Burnt Island, they're fairly straightforward to say. Here we are. This here is Kinghorn. Train, stop. Oh, that was a nice stop. Here we go. And we're here. Well, we've got three minutes to spare. This is quite a lenient um, timetable. But we'll take it. Let's probably nip out and get some uh, collectibles. Hopefully, I don't sound too tired. I'm recording. It's about 11 p.m. as I've recorded this. Um, are those boats meant to be in the car park down there? I don't know. Um, let me get some of these uh, bits and pieces as we're sitting here. I will find the seal plushies. Where are they? There's a planter over here. I'll get that quickly. There we go. I wonder if this is one of those stations where you can get out and go to the beach. Like at St. Ives where you can sort of hop out and just go to the beach. I was saying that, I don't think we'll have enough time. Ah, we can't. I suppose if, you, if, if you're a PRM in a wheelchair, it's slightly unfortunate the way the bridge sort of goes up and you've got to go down again. There's no sort of level uh, exit or uh, entry. Slightly odd design to that, but... And okay, Ace. Okay, Ace has decided basically as soon as we've started recording to start meowing away. Same thing happened when we were streaming this. It was just started streaming meow, 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 meow. Hello. Why don't you just sit and chill out and fall asleep? Like you tend to do when we're not streaming or recording. Oh, come on then, yeah, go behind the chair. Okay, this is... Yeah, there you go, right there. Right, yep, right there. Yeah, that'll do. Right, let's get the uh, the doors shut. Uh, next up is Burnt Island, which makes about two miles or so. But I don't, I don't think many of these stuff, well, especially this one, it's just a weird one. I mean, yeah, for sort of accessibility, you know, if you're in your wheelchair, PRM, person with reduced mobility. Oh, actually, well, I can see, yeah, I suppose you wouldn't be able to just go through there, would you? So we've got to go up the, uh, why are we not going? Oh, yeah, that's why we're not going. Donut. That's a very good question. Why aren't we going? That's not set now. The doors are locked. We've got interlock. There we go. It's delayed for some reason. Off we go. There's no sort of level path there to get out. Out we go. Out of uh, out of out of Kinghorn. As we continue our way towards Edinburgh. So this is the eastern side of the loop, which is probably the one you'll see more of the time, as this is sort of the main part of the route. Like the western side, I suppose, sort of the more quieter side of the route by Dunfermline. Or Dunfermline. Dun Dunfermline. So I'm, I'm slowly getting there with pronunciations, okay? Slowly.
difficult and we can speed up to 65 which tends yeah, to seem sort of be the average speed on this route or at least for this part 65 there you go let's get that out but yeah we're not gonna talk about the route um, yeah we're not gonna we've already done that well we sort of just said you know what's wrong with it we're just gonna we're just gonna enjoy the journey um, yeah, we're not really going to go into all the criticisms of the route, which is quite a lot. Um, oh, that is nice. Look at that. Well, the moon. Not below, but um, that's cool. Yeah, we're just, we're, we're just going to enjoy the drive on the route. That is a pretty cool scene, though, of sort of the moon there. Look at that. It's brilliant. Uh, Burnt Island, does the speed come down? I feel it does to like 55. Could be wrong. Again, still. Still learning the ways. Learning the way of the Fife. I should get the announcement going off shortly. Uh, as we saw, yeah, we go along the coastal bit here. Turn to the right, then we're into Burnt Island. Not too far. So I'll start popping that speed down a little bit as I'm pretty certain it does come down. As you do sort of swing round to the right quite um, quickly. So I'll pop it down to 55, which it may or may not be. But just in case. We'll soon arrive at... Burnt Island. Oh, 50. Okay, well, we went too far. We're actually at 50 now. Don't forget so that's take perfect. Your with you before you leave the train. Before you leave the train. Cool. Now, being honest, uh, I mean, yeah, driving on the route, um, as we're doing now, is, is fairly, you know, enjoyable. But, yeah, let, let's not... Let's not mention the, uh, the other things. Let's just... Just yeah, just enjoy the drive as, as we are so far. So this here, this is Burnt Island. This is quite a cool station and quite a curb as well. Yeah, six oh five in the morning, so it's proper bright and early. So sort of pre rush hour, but you sort of get the, the eager beavers going to work at this time. Yeah, this is Burnt Island. And next up after this is Abadawa. Uh, which again isn't too far from here. Again on time as well, which is good. Very nice to see we're on time. Come on, let's get going. I mean basically end it but now. That will do. Or is that gonna be too early? Uh, don't say unlock the doors. That no, we're good. I do like you get the guard buzzing. I like that. See on um Well yeah, I'm quite sort of I suppose quite the quite recent diesel trains we've got, you know, where you get the, the buzzing to of the guard, like it, the pacer, the one five eight, and now the one seventy. It is rather rather pleasant to see. It's nice at this time in the morning, though. <clears throat> I mean, in fact, it's really nice doing it this time in the morning. It's one of that sky is, you know, just different colours of pink and sort of, I don't know, it's, yeah, sort of that, that nice, that, that like, very idyllic time in the morning in the game and in real life. Uh, I mean, as of recent, I've actually been on early at work and I've got some awesome... Well, not awesome, but some pretty cool pictures of uh, of the sun coming up when it's like this, sort of the sort of pink on the on the uh, in the sky. Well, 
let's get going. Not too far along to Abadau. I can't remember what you sort of looking out for coming up to this station. I'm trying to think of the station actually. Oh yeah, I've got it. It's on the right hand corner, I believe. Now get that as we sort of work our way along the coast. We'll have to bring this um get the hate bring the hate not bring, yeah, bring the HST out at some point. Uh, put it in a, into seven city livery and we'll pop it on here. That'd be good fun. Let's make sure we're not clipping through the bridges. Little checks. Nice, that sun sort of comes up. Comes up over the North Sea. On our, uh, yeah, on our early morning. Well, <laughs> as I'm recording this very opposite, late night. So you might see my sort of eyes closing. It's, it's, it's been a, a long old day, but um, yeah, I thought I'd fit this in right at the end. Right, we've got a speed chain. I think there's a speedball coming up. We've got about 55 at the moment. And this is for a for a 55 of that, perfect. So we're probably coming up to Aberdow quite shortly then. Or relatively soon. Yeah, there you go, there's the giveaway. The announcement. We'll soon arrive at Aberdour. Aberdour. I mean, if she's saying it like that, they must be right, mustn't it, surely? I will try not to forget my belongings when I leave the train. This is on a right-hand corner. Or is it not? No, it is, yeah. It's sort of, well, it's on a left and a right. Yep, yeah, this is Aberdour. And then Dalgetty Bay after this. I, mean, I am enjoying driving the 170 though. The 170 is nice to drive. And it's nice to have a turbo star in the game. Mostly because my uh, my TOC has, has turbo stars. So it's just nice to be able to well, drive a turbo on here. Yeah, this is uh, Aberdow and uh, Dalgetty Bay next and then after that it's, it's, it's gone quite quick as well, in about 20 minutes it's like what, it's one of those routes which um, does go rather, or at least since I've been playing Hudless it just goes so quick now when you got all the bits up it's like you know, slug, sluggish once you get it all off though Go. Definitely have to use the hill start here. Start releasing that. There we go. And we're off. Something which would be cool to see. Um, something which we did see on Goblin. Um, Rivet, if you are if you are watching, dioramas. Um, you know, put a few you know track workers, some orange army workers along the line randomly so and as you go along you've got a gamma two little things like that okay this is all meowing again yeah patience yeah you got to wait until we get to Dalgetty Bay isn't too far yeah dioramas you know track workers cutting stuff and yeah, even yeah, it's people cutting the hedges along the track or something. That would be cool. Because on Goblin, we've we had that. Uh, well, we do have that Barking Riverside. Uh, we've, yeah, I think there's also another spot as well where you get some sort of workers 
um, sort of yeah line side. So I've got, I've, let's see, my arm is literally trying to hold Katis back from jumping onto the desk and then probably onto the keyboard. But she no, she, she's made it past the first line of the fence. Go down there. Come on. No, not on the keyboard. I don't know why you're so obsessed with going on the keyboard. Keyboards and cats are just not a good combination. Yeah, DSD. Yes, a nice chilled out run. Uh, and as of this video going out, the route will either be coming out very soon or will already be out. Um, yeah, it really depends how long this will take to upload and when I get around to uploading it. Which will be coming out on the release day, but uh, not sure exactly what time. Right, we're coming out to Dalgetty Bay. At least we should be quite soon. So I'll probably get the announcement going off quite soon. Sort of slowly learning the whereabouts of these places. I think we're coming up to Dalgetty Bay. Maybe not just yet. I'm pretty certain it's coming out. I'm going to start slowing down just in case the announcement's decided to break upon us. So I'm pretty certain it is coming up very soon. Well, maybe not. Maybe it is still quite far away. There's not this around here, isn't it? Right, well, maybe it is slightly further away than expected, but we'll slow down anyway. There we go. Now we're coming up to it. We'll soon arrive at Dalgetty Bay. Dalgetty Bay. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. We will try to take our belongings with us when we leave the train. Probably lost about 30 seconds there again at that speed. I mean, this time the service specifically seems to be quite lenient, so we may be okay. Yeah, Dalgetty Bay. Here we go. And then I suppose this is sort of the last stop before we then join up with the other side of the loop uh, and then sort of uh, head up over the fourth bridge. It goes quick though, it goes really quick. Especially now we've got the HUD off. I don't know, just it seems to be good. Like when we had, on the first sort of two runs we did, where we had the, um, the HUD on, it just felt like it was really, really slow. Like it just took forever. Um, but now we've got the HUD off, it just feels like it goes so quick. Yeah, we lost it. Yeah, lost a bit of time there, going a bit slower. That's okay. Hopefully, we can make it out. Right, it'll be okay. This is quieting down a little bit. Right, uh, in the key thing next. A little bit of a hill start here just in case. I think that one's actually alright. There we go. So you've got seven um, notches of power on the Turbo Star as opposed to on the Electro Star, we've only got four. So you've got a bit more to play with. There we go. And yeah, just over a mile to in the key things. It's really not far sort of getting onto that stage now where the stations are relatively close to us, they're all relatively close to one another there's no sort of major major gaps between stations and probably the biggest gap is probably actually Mark Inch to um, Kirkcaldy I think it's about sort of four or five miles it's probably one of the bigger gaps I 
obviously that's where all stops as well. It doesn't take us. Uh, yeah, it doesn't take us long to come up to the next stop. Right, it comes down to I think 40 somewhere along here. I should say 30. So yeah, still, still driving under instruction. <laughs> I'm still training on the route. Well, there's the 50, and then there's a 40. I think quite soon after. We'll soon arrive at Inverkeeping. 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 Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Is there a 40 round here? Or is it a 30? I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's a 30 because we'll be coming in 30 into the platform anyway. So there's the 40. Does it then come down to 30? Well, we're already at 30 anyway as we're coming in into the station. Maybe not. Oh no, hang on, no, there is more speedboards. No, 40, 40. There is a 30 if you're loco hauled. Right, this is in the keyving. You got the banner repeater for if you were going down the Rosife branch. Which I don't think is used anymore. Although well, do correct me if I'm wrong. Is the Rosife dockyard branch used in any way? Or is it not? Yeah, this is in the have a train there up to Dundee and then we've then got North Queens Ferry after this which is well the, the north side of the fourth bridge people don't like me calling it the fourth rail bridge either <laughs> I called it on that on the little um, TikTok summary of the route and people were like no fourth bridge defending the rights of the fourth bridge not don't don't ever yeah not for on for frail bridge. People don't like it. Even though it is the fourth rail well, even though it is the rail bridge of the fourth, but yeah. Don't call it fourth rail bridge. So is it still four? Oh, 65. 65 again. And then down to 50 going over the fourth bridge. So yeah, 65 is sort of the, the average speed of the route. Or at least on the sort of the east, Scottish East Coast mainline side. I don't know, what, what are we going to call this? What are we going to call this video? Do we call it the Scottish East Coast Main Line? Nah. Maybe like early uh, morning right as a Fife. Early morning on the Fife. I don't know what it's going to be called. <laughs> oh, you guys already know. Sunrise on the Fife. Commuter on the Fife. Fife commuter. Fife commuter. Maybe that. So it's sort of like the first service you could probably get to get you sort of into the office nice and early. You'd be surprised at how early people go up to London on the train. I think like the O6, there's like the 20 past 6 train is like one of the busiest ones. Which gets you into London for about 7. Then we go through a little tunnel and then we're into North Queensferry, so we should get the announcement going quite soon. Sort of really climbing up here, quite steep. Steep with climbing up. There's the announcement going off. We'll soon arrive at North Queensferry. North Queensferry. Don't forget to 
But it must be such a walk though. I mean, if you live down in North Queens Ferry to get up to the station, it must be quite a quite you know, you have to stretch your legs a little bit. I just really hope that when the 158 DLC comes out for this, I hope we can do joint 158 and 170 services. Because that's what, what they do in real life. So fingers crossed. Right to the end here, isn't it? Yeah, right to the end of the platform. Gravity's doing a good job here. Oh, that is perfect. Look at that. Round of applause for that. Yeah, this is a North Queen's Ferry. And uh, we're here up near enough on time. I'm saying on the boards. I'm saying we're on time, so that's good enough. And uh, down many next, which is well, on the other side of the bridge. Door shut. Oh no, I knew it would. We were literally just a tad early. Go, 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 go. Actually, if you. It's just the normal that happens. Steep starting out of there. Yeah, then we're on to the fourth rail bridge, which I believe is 50 miles per hour. I haven't actually seen the speed board yet, but I'm. Well, I know it's 50. Okay. On we go. And we're on the Xbox um, Series X for this, um, which is the equivalent to high graphics on PC. Um, so yeah, my president is fifty. I hope it's not forty. Maybe it is forty. No, I don't know actually. Forty or fifty? I'm pretty certain it's fifty. Although saying that, I, I, I might just go at forty. <laughs> no, it is fifty, isn't it? It is fifty. Yeah, it's fifty. It, it never gets old going through here. Like I've, been, I've done this about four or five times now. Probably actually, if you include the train some classic times, another sort of six, seven, eight times, it's always just as impressive as the first time going through here. It's just like, wow. I mean, it's been modelled really nicely in the game, the fourth rail bridge. It genuinely is really impressive. Just like how on earth? We'll it, how, how? It's it's amazing. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the it's train. The amount of metal work and crosses and that's amazing. Probably is like the most like one. Well, it's probably like one. Well, it's literally like one of those bridges in the world where you're just like, how? Wow. <laughs> It's just, yeah, it's, it's like, wow. And then down many, or down many, is on the other side of the bridge. But yeah, every time you go across the fourth rail, it just doesn't get old. It's just like, wow. We are down many, which is where I was going to do the guarding video from down many to Dun Firmlin, but um, yeah. As I said, uh, the train started moving when the doors hadn't even shut, so uh, <laughs> didn't last long. I don't think we stopped at this one on the down, have we? No, I don't think so. 
There's a stop marker. Should be going downhill now. Or downhill ish. Well, this is down many. And next session stop after this is Edinburgh Gateway. AKA Edinburgh Airport. But no, I do, I do enjoy driving the 170. As I said, the, the 170 does look really nice and has been modelled really well. The sounds, um, yeah, they're not the best, but they're not the worst. They're sort of just that sort of a level where, yeah, it's, it's alright. Sort of like, yeah, like a 6 out of 10 or so for sounds. Uh, it's, yeah, it's alright. But again, we're not really going to touch on the other things on this route in this video. Just, just going to enjoy the drive. Alright, let's go. Up to 80, so it's quite quick. That's it, we're slowly getting, I think it's about 53 minutes this one, it's been 36, so. We are getting towards the end, and I'm going to make a nice cup of tea, which I've got my uh, Brighton & Hove mug for, uh, it's Brighton & Hove mug. Uh, which you get from the travel shop on uh, North North Street. North Street, I think it's North Street in Brighton. Couple of good ones. Yeah, who'd like to see sort of the electric version of this um, of this the three five seven? I know, yeah, we've got the Electro Styles 377, 387, 375. But the one which has like the same sort of cab assist, yeah, which is the class 357, which is the C2C Electro Star. That would be cool to see. I mean, that would actually be really cool to see. I'd love to see the C2C network. Because, I mean, they could probably uh, stretch to the full thing. I mean, it, it wouldn't be easy, but it would be worth it and would be cool to see. Who'd like to see a full C2C network with a 357? That'd be awesome. And they could then do the Aventura. Which would be even better. At oh, first, yeah, let's just start an Aventura. Oh, and that screen there to the right of us is the driver and advisory screen, yeah, driver advisory screen, um, which basically just tells you information, you know, it says like, oh, you're due into that place at that time, um, the speed limit comes down to 20 and about 2 miles, just gives you sort of general information, just about to advise you. I don't think any uh, TOCs in the south use it sort of yeah, out this way and I think also transport for Wales might have used it as well so I suppose in sort of more rural locations where it might you know for sort of a really long long route where there's not much going on you might want a little little bit of help knowing where bits and pieces are or a bit of a reminder so we are stopping at South Guard as well so we're, we're, we're all stops, apart from Mark Inch. Which obviously we didn't stop at. What have we started at? Kokodi. Uh, Kokodi, I must be getting these spots spot on there, or near enough. Scottish viewers, you should be proud. <laughs> right, shortly arriving into Edinburgh Gateway. We sort of get this big open bit past the airport. to Edinburgh Gateway. Which is, I assume from Edinburgh Gateway there's probably um, a yeah, free bus transfer to the uh, to the airport. Or trams, I'd have the trams go all the way to the terminal.
Yeah, Edinburgh Gateway Station. We'll soon arrive at Edinburgh Gateway. Edinburgh Gateway. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before oh, you leave the train. Edinburgh Gateway. If we stop, yeah, not too far along. I can see the markers. There we go, a little bit further. Well, this might actually be a really nice stop, actually. Take that off just a tad. Oh, look at that. I mean, that is a pretty nice stop. Uh, about a minute behind schedule, but I mean, that, no biggie. Could be worse, couldn't it? Could be worse. Lovely. Sort of screwed us up that early, um, get trying to get those doors shut at, uh, was it North Queens Ferry? It said to reopen the doors, which was a bit annoying. There's only a minute behind schedule. What's that? 60 quid down the drain for Scott Rail. Right, let's go. And then South Garland, we'll probably do the announcement basically as soon as we've left the platform of this place. It's really not far. There we go. What was it 90 miles? Well, it was 90 miles now, so that's 75 again. So it's not 90 for long. Speed limits aren't too bad on this route. Uh, as long as you sort of know where sort of the corners are, then it's about 30, 40 around them, and the rest is just 65. Or oh, it's on the eastern side. So yeah, not the hardest route to know, Hudless, I suppose. And I'm still probably not going to ever sort of properly, properly learn the exact. I might learn the exact limits, but. As long as I sort of know where to start slowing down. That's good. Alright, South Guard I'm coming up to. This is a station I've shot about two to, uh, overshot about two times on Train Sim Classic. Because the class 68 has bad brakes. Or well, not not too good brakes. and steady as we come up to the uh, stop marker. I don't want to spill anybody's morning cup of tea or coffee. At least best we can try not to. We're at South Guile. And then yeah, Haymarket next. Haymarket and then Edinburgh Waverley. Uh, what time were we due into Waverley? Was it 52? Was it 52? Oh no, 45. I mean, that's 10 minutes. Done that too early again. Oh no, we're fine. Perfect. Seventy-five, and I think it goes up. It goes up, yeah. It goes up quite a bit. And then for Haymarket, you got the fifty and thirty-five. Thirty-five basically coming into the platform at Haymarket. And thirty-five down to twenty between the two tunnels, and then about twenty all the way into Waverley. 
which will probably be platform 18, tends to be. There we go. It's fun doing it hardless though. Love doing things hardless. It's always nice sort of learning new routes hardless, especially well with UK routes. Well, sort of my main interest, so it's quite good sort of getting the HUD off. I'm gonna say for Salzburg, Rosenheim, wouldn't have much of a clue. Um, on a stopping service, doing it HUDless, but uh, actually, we've got the Ebula for that. Yeah, got the Ebula. The Ebula basically just telling you where everything is. Seventy-five. We're still, always was seventy-five. It's like that speed limit between Harringay Green Lanes and South Tottenham, where it just sort of reminds you that it's still thirty. Unless that's meant to be a slightly lower speed limit, like sixty-five or something. So you are quite fast around that corner. And there we go. We're now on sort of to the main line now. You got Edinburgh Glasgow to the right of us, which is another route you can get on trains in world. Not the most exciting route. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Maybe it just needs a bit of variety. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's another route you can get. Although on this route you can drive all the way from Linlithgow to Edinburgh. So that's about a quarter of it. It's very tempting to try and get us up to 90, but we're not going to have enough time to get up to 90. So it comes down to 50 not too soon at all. Try and make up any lost time with a quick sprint. Well, that'll do, 75. And we'll start slowly popping the brakes on for the 50 limit. too far along. I've been quite good so far so I don't want to screw it up soon to, to, you know, towards the end. So I'll try and get down for all these limits in time. Doing quite well doing this hardless. Right down for the 50 which begins quite shortly. And down to there's the 50, and then down to 35 coming into the platform. Yeah, now coming into Haymarket Station, the penultimate station. We'll soon arrive at Haymarket. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Cool. There we go. I genuinely do like driving the um, Turbo Star. But then my favourite trains are the Electro Stars, so driving the sort of diesel equivalent. Um, yeah. It is quite nice. I, I don't, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I don't know the turbo stars very well. I've been on them a few times, the southern ones. So I can't really comment on physics. But I don't know how are they. 41 past and we're arriving at 41 past. Yeah. Oh, collectible literally just outside. Quickly nip out and get that. Even though this is probably the last bit of one you'll see on the Xbox, we'll probably be on the PlayStation next. Come on. There we go. That'll probably be too early, won't it? Come on. Yes, there we go. Right, let's go. The next station stop will be Edinburgh Waverley, our final destination. So everybody off.
Yeah, a nice early morning run though into Edinburgh. Believe it or not, that is a red light on the right of us. So it's up to 35, but then down to 20, sort of just as we get out, well, sort of between the two tunnels. There's no speedboard though for it. So you've sort of just got to know where it is. Almost at the end of our old, you know, our epic journey from uh, from Kokodi. Uh, as we come out of the tunnel, and we we'll sort of put the brakes on. Step one to come down for the twenty. As soon as we leave the tunnel, that should bring us down relatively nicely for it. Step one breaks. So now I've got step two actually. So I think it's sort of just on these points it's 20. Unless there is a board for it, maybe it's a bit further up. I don't know, is there a 20 board? Maybe there is. No. I think it's basically just where those points are. So it'll just be down to 24 then. Here we are. This is Edinburgh Waverley we're coming into. Got a single yellow, but uh, was it platform 18? I'd assume so. Which means it'll be a right hand, right, ha right hand side door release. Yeah, platform 18. So we're going to be coming about 15 miles per hour into the platform. No more than 15. And this one's quite a short platform as well. And you're opening the doors on the right hand side. I don't know if they do open them, open them on the left hand side as well, but platform 18 is the one on the right. That's what the game registers it as. Now you don't get along here, then you go back out. Like on the one we did on the stream, which we did yesterday, if you were watching us on release. Uh, yeah, it was about five minutes. That'll do. So you've got the fences on this one, right-hand side door release. Uh, off, on. There we go. Uh, that is going to be everybody. Uh, like, actually, I can't photo mode yet, otherwise it'll be a bit noisy. Um, yeah, that is going to be it. Let's see if we can see an IET. Not sure. Um, yeah, that's going to be it, everybody. Uh, for today. Oh, this goes out in 15 minutes. That's not too bad then. Um, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully, everybody has enjoyed it. That was the five circle line again from Kakodi down to Edinburgh Waverley. Links can be found in the usual places Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. But after that, thanks all for coming in. Hopefully, we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Hey.